This is the eyes and ears of the brigade, the soldiers who'll be gathering intelligence in theatre, tracking down insurgents, reporting on their movements. The 1st Queen's Dragoon Guards will be leading the brigade reconnaissance force on Herrick 15, taking on a huge responsibility. It's a very important uh, role and of course it comes at a critical time when it's a winter tour, uh, which historically means that uh, the insurgent tempo has fallen away and therefore uh, actually it's time for us to keep the pressure on. We've certainly been put through our paces and will be. From patrolling on foot to patrolling on vehicles. Here they're going through crew training, putting these jackals to the test, practicing formations and maneuvers. The BRF is effectively a melting pot of skills and experience from across the brigade. The QDG form the bulk of it, but they're also members of One York's recce platoon, engineers, signalers and medics, all learning a range of mounted and dismounted skills. Among the skills they need is the knowledge of surveillance equipment and cameras. Here they're starting with the basics of photography, while others are learning recce tactics out in the field. The role may be diverse, but that's exactly why many welcome the challenge. One of the top jobs to have, like, obviously I want to be here and do it. By all the briefs that we've been having, reference all the BRS, you know, they, they have a hard time for six months. But obviously it all, all pays off to, you know, for the heart for the army in, in general, so obviously we can hopefully leave Afghanistan within the next few years. The QDG served in Afghanistan in 2008, and with added skills from one Yorks, they're a versatile team. But some know all too well the risks they'll face out there. Captain Nick Garland was a troop leader on Herrick 9. He was struck by an airburst RPG. Now he's going back to theatre again. The entry wound was in my neck and it came out uh, by my lung. Uh, I spent three weeks in a coma. Uh, and then I spent a bit more time in Selic Hospital and now I'm sort of back fully fit and ready to go again. I don't really feel too bad about it, it's, uh, it's just part of the job and uh, fortunately for me I've been very lucky in my recovery and it's just getting the guys motivated to go back. Motivation is certainly not lacking here, no rest for this reconnaissance force either as they'll be starting group exercises in April. Carla Proto Forces News, Senalaga.